Hello ladies, gentlemen and gentle people, Pudros here. And today, we're back with some more Project Zomboid. Probably the last Project Zomboid thing we'll do this week. So, I think you guys remember that I said I was gonna finish this week in a high note. Not with Mina's death, but with a new survivor, right? So, here's what we're gonna do. Mina's specialty was being a carpenter. But here, we're gonna focus more on physical capability, on being fit and strong. So that way we don't have as much difficulty. We're gonna be a bit underweight, have high thirst, be prone to illness, have a weak stomach, and be a Sunday driver. However, we're gonna be better at watching stuff at night, transfer inventory quickly, have more inventory capacity, have less chances of catching cold completely, and both be athletic and strong. Our new survivor is gonna be Misty Maguire. I'm gonna switch her starting clothes though because I don't really want to try out my luck with t-shirts. Also, yes, you'll notice I have Mina's zombified version on the background because I am recording this after the last episode. Long denim shorts, type 1 maybe, uh, type 2. Hair color, this, maybe a lighter tone of skin though. <laughs> there we go. So, without anything else to say, save the preset and let's begin. Here we are. Misty Maguire's adventure now begins. And I think we started at the same house we started before. <laughs> so today's episode focus is going to be simple. We're going to go for Mina Lopez. We're going to kill her and we're going to reclaim our base from her zombified self. Let's see, going to pack all the food I can though, because I think, you know, we kind of need that. So orange soda, grab this and... Yeah, this is gonna be about it. Maybe grab the newspaper though. And the crossword magazine is gonna be useful. So, with that done, let's begin. We're gonna have some company at the start, but I don't mind that. What's up, bitch? Oh, she just teleported into the floor. That's okay. Well, oh, we have some more company. You died too. Yeah, I think you'll notice having a fit character is far better for starting out because you don't have to worry about physical that much. You can knock zombies, you can run farther, carry more stuff. In general, it just is an easier start. So yeah, that's why I went with this build instead of the carpentry build. Because carpentry helps for building stuff at the start, but beyond that, no use. And well, since we already have a base and water barrels and stuff, I think we can leave the carpentry leveling on the background because it's gonna take us a while. And instead we can focus on carrying stuff and doing looting runs because with this new survivor, the general hope is that I'm not gonna need to rely on my base as much and I'm gonna be able to instead go on looting runs and other cities and whatnot. A more quote-unquote nomadic plays style, if you may, with the trade-off being we get more loot. But obviously, we are, it's a riskier playstyle. Because since we're more on the move, we cannot rely on farming and fishing and whatnot. And we have to instead live off the land and expose ourselves to more zombies more often. Alright, motherfuckers, come on! Let's see. You two stay down. I'm gonna break the bat until I get there. Yeah, you can see it. Just one whack. It's all it takes. Let's see. Oh, there's another couple zombies here. Uh, you are gonna die. Let's see. What do you have? Nothing. Nothing I can make use of, at least. I think this is the warehouse, right? Yes, this is the warehouse. I recognize those benches. I would recognize them anywhere. Yeah, this is it. Our old house. <laughs> here we are. The warehouse base. Let's get ready. Hello, Mina Zombie. I hear you. Where the fuck did she go? Here you are. Mina, you took me on many good adventures. Now it's only fair that I put you to rest. Rest in peace, Mina Lopez. Your service will be remembered. So attach this to the belt. Grab the epitaph. And I think most of this stuff was temporary, so don't really need to keep mo much of this. Also the cowboy hat here, in memory of Mina Lopez. Grab this and grab all the nails. Beyond that, I think I have my own belt. Yes. And now it's only fair that I grab the corpse and bury Mina properly. Let's see. Also, I think you can notice the difference between a strength playthrough and something normal. I can carry a corpse and not be over encumbered. Let's see. 
Rest in peace, Mina. It's raining, but it's a bad day for rain. Where's the shovel? No, wait, I have space for two more corpses, so I don't really need the shovel. But yeah, baseball bat, goodbye. Chips into the school bag, and then from the school bag, keep this secondary, equip this on my back, and now, let's see. I have the bulletproof vest, and now, where's the other bag? Here it is. So, military pants, military boots, watch. Put it on the right wrist. Lumberjack shirt. Wear this. Gas mask. Wear this. Fanny pack on the back. Fanny pack on the front. Crowbar on the back. Double holster. Wear this. Crash helmet. Wear this. Bullet bandolier. Wear this. Leather gloves. Wear this. Hunting knife. Also wear this. And how to use generators because this is gonna be important for us. Read this. Because this... Oh baby, we are gonna be doing a lot of reading now that Mina has died because she left behind the base but her knowledge she has taken with her. And that means one thing and one thing only. All of the reading from before, all of the sleepless nights reading, it's no, back. God, please, no. But yeah, then these, you're all going into the backpack so that I also have a spare hammer on better condition, to be honest, because spare hammers are handy. Then long denim shorts and this go here. You're gonna go here. I'm gonna drop you. And one last detail that I might have missed. Mina Lopez's key ring. I'm gonna pass all the keys onto Misty. And now there we go. Let me go to the roof to make this more epic hold up. Also, let me eat something because I think I'm starving. <laughs> Chips. Gonna eat all of them because I think I started with underweight. So, yeah. This is gonna be a problem because underweight makes you way less efficient. So, once we remove underweight, bro, we are in the money. But yeah, sad day for rain. But God, it, it ain't it fitting. We, have, we are no longer misty. We have taken on the mantle that Nina left behind for us. And it's our mission to see it through. So, with all of that overworded stuff and all of the funny shit. I believe that is gonna be the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's all down below. It's free and it helps out the channel a ton. That's gonna be it. And as always, have a good one. Man, I think I may start Misty on mechanics instead. Like, there's really no path we we are just predestined to take we are finally free to take whatever path we want we're 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 for the time, time for